In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your WooCommerce My Account dashboard for free in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, I'm going to show you how to transform your WooCommerce My Account page from this to this. Okay, and you can be a lot more creative. This is just a quick um, mock-up just to show you what you can do. So we've removed the default um, WooCommerce sidebar area and we're displaying the details here. So all this is custom, so you can add um, extra information, you can add um, videos, you can be a lot more creative with it, okay? So throughout this video, I'm gonna show you how you can implement a similar setup on your WooCommerce store using any page builder you want. Throughout this video, I'll be using the default um, Gutenberg editor with one um, extra plugin which is free okay so without further ado let's get straight into it okay so here we are in our woocommerce dashboard and i'm going to show you how to customize your woocommerce my account area using the default gutenberg setup so throughout this video you can apply the same concepts using any other page builder so if you use divi you can um, follow along if you use element or any other page builders you're using the same principles apply so i'm just going to use um, gutenberg um, just for this video but as i said you can use any other um, page builders so since i'm using gutenberg i'm going to go ahead and add one extra plugin which is free i'm going to add this um cadence block plugin here and this is just going to give us some extra widgets that we can use with um, gutenberg so again if you're using another um, page builder then just skip this section so for those that want to use um, Gutenberg to create their dashboard, we'll install this Cadence Blocks plugin. And again, you can use any of, if you've already got a different plugin, which will allow you to add different widgets to your um, My Account area, you can use that as well. Okay, so I'm just going to install this. Well, I've already got it installed. But to install it, we'll just go Plugins, Add New, and then we'll just search for Cadence Block, okay? Locate it, go ahead, install and activate it, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so before we actually dive into editing the My Account page, there's one thing that we need to cover. If we navigate to WooCommerce and then Settings, there's a few things we need to just clarify before we actually move on. So we'll navigate to Advanced, okay? And then here we've got various different endpoints so we've got the checkout endpoints and then we've got the account endpoints and we can customize the URLs as well. Okay, so for the orders endpoint, which is essentially the URL, it will be my account slash um, orders. So just to give you a live example, when we click on this orders menu link, if I go ahead and open it in a new tab, here we can see it's my account dash orders. Okay, so that's all the endpoint means. So throughout this video, we'll keep this page up. Um, just for reference. So for example, if we wanted to create a new menu item for the customers to view the orders, we can see that this is the URL for um, view orders, right? And we just add the default page to it, which is my account, and then it will be the view orders um, URL. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and start editing our my account page now. So we can either click edit here if we're on the my accounts page, or we can navigate back to our dashboard Okay, and then we'll navigate to pages, all pages, and then we'll go ahead and edit this My Account page here. Okay, so by default, WooCommerce will automatically add this short code, which is WooCommerce underscore my underscore account. Okay, so we'll keep this short code. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new row, and we're gonna create a row instead of a column because later on, we're gonna actually hide the particular design that we'll create um, for logged out users, and you'll see why in just a second. So I'll just click this plus icon here, and then I'll go ahead and search for row, and I'll click this row layout here, and then I'll select this four column layout, okay? So within the row, if we click on this um, add block here, we'll just search for info box, Okay, and then for this one, I'm gonna name it orders. Okay, and then for this section, we don't actually need this section, so I wanna hide this section. Okay, so when we go ahead and click on this here, under style, we'll navigate down to where it says text settings, and then we'll disable this text settings, okay? And then whilst we're here as well, we can go ahead and edit this icon. So within the style tab, we'll just click on media setting, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on this icon section here i'm just going to search for cart and then i'll just click add okay we just want to recreate this for all our different menu items okay so i'm just going to duplicate this and let's do it two more times duplicate duplicate okay and now we'll just move it to the relevant column 
Okay, and now we'll just go ahead and edit these other columns. Okay, so for example, here I can say address or addresses. Okay, and then for orders, I'm going to change this to say um, account details. And then finally, we'll have a logout link. Okay, and now we just want to customize the icon for each section. Okay, so for our address section, we'll click on this um, block here. Then we'll navigate over to styles and then media setting, click on the icon. And then I'm just going to search for book. Okay, we'll do the same for account details. Click on a style icon, click on a style tab, media settings, click on an icon. And then this time I'm going to scroll down and then choose an appropriate icon. Okay, so we'll choose this one here. And for the logout, again, style, media setting, icon. And then I'm just going to search log out. Okay. Okay, and that looks fine. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to actually move this section above um, this WooCommerce shortcode here. Okay, so just to make life easier for myself, I'm going to go ahead and click on this view list menu and then I can just drag and drop it above this section here okay right so that looks fine so far so now we can actually start adding the links to our different um, menu icons okay so for the orders we can go ahead and click on this section here and then under the general section to the right we can see we've got the option to paste in a URL. So when a user clicks this button here, it will take them to their orders page. We can do it in two ways. And the quickest is on the front end. So on the front end, if you view your current My Account page, we can just copy this URL where it says orders. And this is by far the quickest method. And then we can just paste it here and then just click submit. Okay. And that's submitted fine. And then the second way in which you can get the URL is if you navigate over to like I showed you earlier on, just settings, then advance, and then endpoints. So account details, endpoints. Okay, so for example, the orders section, we can copy orders and then we'll just append it to the my account page. So it'll be my dash account slash orders. Okay, and that's how you get the URL. But throughout this video, I'm just going to go ahead and copy it from the front end because it's a lot faster. Okay. So let's go ahead and update our address um, link. So again, from the account page, we'll just copy this link address and we'll paste it in, submit. We'll do the same for account details, copy it. And then we can go ahead and then we can go ahead and paste it in. And then finally for our logout link, again, we'll just copy it. I'm gonna paste it here because it has some extra um, query attached that we don't need. So everything after the question mark, we can actually remove. So I'm going to paste this in general settings and then submit. Okay, perfect. So one last thing before we actually go ahead and save this change um, on the front end. So for logged out users, we don't want to show this section to logged out users, right? So we only want to show the login form to logged out users. So we're going to actually hide this entire section if a customer's logged out. Okay, so to do that, we'll click on um, row layout here. And this is why we chose row instead of the default um, WordPress column layout. Okay, because when we click on this row option, we've got a few extra um, options here. And when we navigate to advance, we've got this visibility settings here. Okay, so we'll just click on visibility. We can go ahead and actually hide this to logged out users. Okay, so the logged out users won't be able to see this section, which makes sense. Go ahead and update this and then we can check out our new my account page okay so we'll just hit view page here okay perfect and now we can see our new and improved my account page so the customers can click on this order menu here and then they can see their orders address um, my account details okay so currently our my account page is looking a lot better there's one last thing we need to do to finish off this tutorial is we need to remove this default um, a WooCommerce menu section here, and then we'll just make this section full width. So to do that, we'll just add two different CSS to the WordPress customizer. So again, depending on the theme or the page builder you're using, you'll just add the CSS directly there, okay? So since I'm not using any special page builder, I'm just gonna use this customize menu here. 
Okay, and then we'll navigate to where it says additional CSS. And then we'll just paste in our CSS here. Okay, and now that we've pasted in our CSS, we can see this is full width and the default um, WordPress navigation bar is gone. Okay, so we've selected this class here and it's removed the default WooCommerce navigation. And we've also made the account details full width as well. Okay, so we'll just hit publish for this particular code. Okay, so instead of leaving that code in the description below, I'll leave a link to this particular article, which this tutorial is based on. Okay, so it's got all the steps and it's also got that CSS code here. Okay, so you just copy the CSS code and then you should be fine as well. So on top of that as well, there's some extra um, customization options. So depending on how um, tech savvy you are, you can actually go ahead and add a lot more customization for your codes. Okay. Okay, so now that we've saved changes, now when we view the My Account page again, we can see our design looks a lot more cleaner. So now when we view the order section, there's not that extra um, WooCommerce sidebar area, okay? And as I said, we can add, um, we can be a lot more creative with this design. So now you've got the full flexibility to go ahead and tailor the My Account page. And that's how you customize the WooCommerce My Account page using any page builder for free in just a few simple steps. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.